Hi, my name is Dave Malone. I'm an IoT Solutions Architect for AWS, and in this video, we will cover how to quickly get started with AWS IoT in a limited fashion, simply to get comfortable with how it works and to learn some of the basic processes. If you will be looking to connect and use more advanced features right away, I suggest going to the AWS IoT developer documentation for deeper instruction. In this video, we'll create our first thing connect a device to it, and watch it send MQTT messages. To follow along, you will need an AWS account, and it's best to have an IoT device at hand, such as a Raspberry Pi, or you can even use your personal computer. Just to quickly visualize what we'll be building, you can see this simple architecture, where we have our device, the cloud, and how those devices connect to the cloud via AWS IoT Core. You will begin by logging into your AWS Management Console. Once there, navigate to the AWS IoT Core service. When you enter the AWS IoT Console, click Learn in the bottom left-hand navigation menu. There you will see three options. Select the middle option. We will be onboarding a single device, so choose the left option. This page tells us what we will be doing in this next step. We will be registering a device in the IoT Core Thing Registry. We will be downloading a connection kit, which is comprised of our security credentials, an SDK of our choice, and a sample project. And we will be configuring and testing our device. AWS IoT provides several options. Choose your platform and device SDK language. The steps are largely the same, but for the purpose of this video, we will choose Linux OXX and Python. To register your thing, you will be prompted to create a name. Since this is simply a demonstration of how the service functionality works, I wouldn't worry about the name too much. But when you start building, note that you cannot change the thing name once it's created. You would have to delete it and create a new thing with a different name, so it's worth spending some time now thinking about your naming conventions. When you hit Next, AWS IoT will create your connection kit, which comprises three things. First, it has your Things certificate files, which are used to authenticate your device. Second, it has a policy resource to authorize your thing object to interact with AWS IoT Core. Finally, it has a script to download the AWS Device SDK and run the sample program on your device. Make sure to click the Download Connection Kit button. I am running this on my computer and not on my device, so I'll save this connection kit file to a local directory and then run it from there. I've downloaded the file to a folder that I created on my desktop. You'll see the file is called connect underscore device underscore package, and it's a zip file. To run this, I first have to unzip this directory, and I'm going to do so in the terminal. You'll see that there are a few files that came as part of this connect kit. The next thing that I'll need to do to run this per the instructions is to modify the permissions on this start shell script by adding the execution permission. Once that's changed, then I can run this command which will download the sample SDK code from one of AWS's public GitHub repositories. It will then run the sample code using the downloaded connection keys for the demo thing shown here and connect to AWS IoT Core. Once the project downloads and begins running, it will begin publishing test messages up to AWS IoT Core. As you can see in the console, the program is executing a simple loop. It's simply publishing hello world as a message 
and incrementing a sequence variable and sending that message up to AWS IoT Core. I'm going to go back into the AWS IoT Core console where you can see the messages are flowing through correctly. This is to help validate that everything is working as expected and that our devices are ready to connect. We can go ahead and click Done at this point. Now that we see the messages coming through, the other way to test that devices are successfully working is to go to the test portion of the AWS IoT console. One quick and easy way to test whether messages are coming through the MQTT broker in AWS IoT Core is to subscribe to the special topic known as the pound topic which will subscribe to all MQTT topics as they're being used by the broker. And again, if I scroll down within the console, I will see the messages coming through as expected. So in this video, we successfully created our first thing, registered a device and connected it to our thing, and then we used MQTT messages to send data from the device using the sample program up through AWS IoT Core. Now that you've connected to a device, you could do a number of things, such as send the data that you're receiving through IoT Core Rules Engine to services such as our Amazon S3 to store the messages, or to Amazon DynamoDB, our NoSQL database, where you can then build AWS applications on top of those.